talking to our reporter David Mudoka, who will be bringing us the latest on that. But with that regard, let's take a look at this story where the Law Society of Kenya, which will be holding, will be holding peaceful demonstration to protest what it terms as President William Ruto's insistent attacks on the judiciary. The outgoing Law Society of Kenya President Eric Theory has already indicated that the lawyer's body is considering petitioning the High Court to declare Ruto in violation of the Constitution and push for his impeachment. <laughs> The president of this country is not above the law. And so therefore, we do not expect him to speak as if obeying of court orders is a favor that he's doing to the country. It is a constitutional requirement. And if he persists on this path, we, one of the reasons or one of the grounds for impeachment uh, is violation of the Constitution. And so therefore, we, we, want to, uh, we, we, want, we are looking at that as, as an option that is on the table. Uh, and also tomorrow, we hold a protest, a peaceful protest, where advocates will, 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 uh, will come out, will affirm uh, their oath and uh, their readiness to defend the constitution and the rule of law. That we need to educate the president to respect the rule of law. Sometimes you may not have the correct advice, but if we do not get a round table, we are not going to relent. Everybody, everybody in this country will have to obey the law. Now, our reporter David Muthoka is following that story and now joins us with the latest. David, good morning. What is happening there currently? Bring us up to date. Good morning, and we are coming to you live from the Supreme Court of Kenya, right here at the Central Business District of Kenya's capital, Nairobi, where any moment from now we are set to see a peaceful procession uh, by lawyers under the Law Society of Kenya around uh, streets in the Nairobi CBD to protest against utterances made in recent days by President William Bruto. Now, we've seen uh, WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka, who is also a lawyer by profession, arrive here. We've seen the Law Society of Kenya President Eric Theory as well arrive here uh, to uh, lead other lawyers in that peaceful protest and that peaceful procession around uh, the Nairobi Central Business District. And we understand actually uh, right now uh, the Law Society of Kenya President Eric Theory in, and other lawyers and other leaders who've accompanied them here are set to address the media any time from now. And so we'll be making a walk to where uh, they are addressing uh, uh, members of the fourth estate. And so just as we walk, I'm taking you right there so that we can hear what uh, they have to say. As you can see, uh, this is the Supreme Court of Kenya. There is a band, there are banners, of course, as they uh, speak. So any moment from now, they'll be taken over. We stand for the rule of law. We want an independent judiciary at all times. We will ensure that the law society will stand for the members of the public, will stand on behalf of all the judges and magistrates of this country to ensure that they can dispense their duties judiciously, only upholding the rule of law. The Constitution is the bedrock upon which we stand, and we shall not allow anyone to erode that right that we have fought so hard. The Constitution of 2010 brought in a new era, a dispensation of justice, a dispensation where everyone is under one Constitution, and no one is above the law. So we stand for the rule of law, we stand to protect our constitution. We stand here on behalf of all the people of Kenya. My name is Faith of Diambo. I'm the vice president of the Law Society of Kenya and will be flagging off this mandamano as one, as one Law Society of Kenya, as Santeni. I now invite the president of the Law Society of Kenya to also address us. Karibu. Yeah, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press and uh, the advocates who have uh, converged here. I am uh, 
humbled uh, by your presence here this morning. We have also been joined by senior counsel. We have uh, uh, the former vice president of the Republic of, of Kenya right behind me. He is a senior counsel and an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. We have uh, seen Ms. Jan Mohammed. We have Professor Kivutha Kibwana and other members of uh, our council. And we are all here united in one creed uh, that uh, this is a country that is governed by the rule of law. We are under the constitution and everyone is equal before the law. We are disturbed by utterances that are made by the president day in, day out, in public gatherings uh, that imply that uh, he is above the law. We are also disturbed when we see utterances made by another arm of government, that is parliament, stating that it will ignore court orders and undertake public participation despite the court stopping the process of implementation of the housing fund, bill for 2023. Those actions by parliament we want to warn if they are undertaken would be an illegal venture and we are going to initiate proceedings to surcharge anyone in parliament who will authorize the public participation forums to proceed when there is a court order stopping that process because that is illegal they are not using their money they are using taxpayers money and taxpayers money cannot be used to propagate illegal activities. Secondly, the executive nor parliament have no privilege to choose which orders to comply with and which one not to comply with. They are institutions that have been set up by our constitution and the constitution demands, it does not plead with them it demands that they must obey court orders. And so we are here united as a body of law, the old, the middle-aged, and the young, to say that the law society will not cow, the law society will not be intimidated, and when it comes to protection of the constitution, protection of the rule of law, we are prepared to go to any length to protect the Constitution of Kenya. We are aware that the President has issued threats and has said that Mambo ni Matatu. We want to assure him that for all those options, we are prepared to take those options yes. in defense yeah, of our Constitution. Yes, yes, yes. So today, we meet here in public and we are going to affirm our oath. We took an oath to defend the Constitution of Kenya. We took an oath to defend the independence of the judiciary. We took an oath to defend the administration of justice. And we are going to retake those oaths in public so that we can send an equivocal message to the executive and those in the executive that believe or are harboring false hope that the law society will cow or will be intimidated in the defense of the rule of law. That will be a clear message to all that as a country, we know the history. We know what happened in the years of dictatorship. And we said when we gave ourselves a constitution in 2010 that we are never going back there. And we know that in that process, there are those who lost lives. There are those that were detained. And in honor of their sacrifice, it is our duty and obligation to sustain this war, to sustain the quest for a country that everyone is below the law. So as we undertake this uh, peaceful procession, it is not 
a contest between the Law Society of Kenya and the executive. It is a march in support of the statehood of the nation of Kenya because Kenya cannot exist as a country if it is not ruled by the rule of law. So it is important as we undertake this for the public to understand and to join us in this and to stand with us and to stand with all Kenyans of goodwill to say that if the president would want to say that as a Kenyan he can choose which order of the court to obey or not what makes it different from any other Kenyan from saying we are not going to obey those orders the path that we have taken is a path that can only lead us to one result and that is anarchy and so it is upon all of us to come together and to say that this country is all we have we will not go anywhere else if there is anarchy in this country and it is important that the institutions that are under and set up under the constitution are supported that their authority is not undermined and that they are allowed to discharge their constitutional functions and that is not a request that we are going to make it is an ask by the constitution and all we are saying is that that is what the constitution of kenya demands so this protest is just but the beginning of an action to protect and preserve the integrity of our constitution and the integrity of our statehood we will be communicating further actions that we are going to take in the event that uh, the bare minimum requirements that the constitution must be respected are not met we are not going to lie down and watch this country slide into anarchy and into an era of imperial presidency so ladies and gentlemen of the press i want to thank you for the kind of support that you have given us in this quest it is important we highlight that as a country we will not progress either economically socially or politically unless we begin to understand that the constitution is there to restrain the exercise of power we also want to take this opportunity to urge the judiciary to not that the law society stands together with them they should not feel intimidated or bullied or harassed to make decisions that are in favor of the judiciary we ask them to make decisions only on the basis of the law and the constitution and for as long as they take that duty that they have been given under the constitution and discharge it seriously we will support them as long as they are accountable in terms of how they exercise judicial authority we will support them and so we ask the judiciary to remain steadfast to be emboldened and to stray the course and confine themselves to the four corners of the constitution despite the very blatant brazen attacks that are being labeled against the judiciary so with that we are going to uh, begin the process of uh, uh, farming our oats and i want to find out whether uh, you know any of our senior counsel would want to say something first because as a law society we respect seniority and we know that those who have come before us have seen these attacks on the judiciary and it is important that we also draw from their lessons so i want to invite our senior counsel uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, who is also a former vice president of this country, to make a few remarks. Well, forward with the defending the constitution, forward! Forward! Forward with the defending the constitution, forward! Forward! Down with impunity, down! Down! Down with dictatorship, down! Down! Down with dictatorship, down! Down! Our people, united! 
shall never be defeated. Our people, united, shall never be defeated. LSK, united, shall never be defeated. Our people, united, shall never be defeated. Long live the constitution, long live, long live, long live the people, long live, long live. Wow. Well, learned colleagues, President Theory, I said it. And you know, we would normally say that one has uh, nothing more useful to add because he has laid it bare. And we are, we are here to stand in solidarity with uh, Kenya, in solidarity with a very important historical document, Constitution 2010. And under its terms, responsibilities are very well elaborated. So if the executive chooses to cause aggression against our judges, and some of us have said it before, and I just want to thank uh, President uh, Theory for this very bold step, and to thank members of the Law Society, including members of the senior bar, led by Fredo Jambo, for the very clear position we have all taken. And so um, I was talking to members of the international media here. They're all very concerned. This is an important country, not just in the region, not just in the African region, but the world. And therefore, if Kenya gets it wrong and we allow a situation where judges will be intimidated into issuing orders that just favor uh, the executive, then we have lost it. Of course, the example here, and I don't know why uh, anybody will feel so, so bad about it, wanting to force judges to issue favorable ruling with regard to the punitive taxes, and more particularly, the housing tax. Let them be bold enough and accept this cannot just be accepted. Therefore, Chief Justice, Mother Kome and your team, we want to say as law society that we stand in solidarity. We are not even here to ask you to issue any favorable orders, but just as the President has said, to do the right thing under the law. If this country is not under the rule of law, then it can only mean we are <laughs> under, the, under the jungle law, and that cannot happen. That's why our parents have spent so much money to get such cream of learned lawyers and other professions as well. We know if other profession, professions as well had the time, they would also speak the same language. So, Mr. President, uh, Aluta continua. The struggle continues. The struggle continues. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Katiba, tekeleza. Tekeleza, Katiba, tekeleza. Tekeleza. Power! Okay. People power!